So now we're going to learn how to use the bow on the cello. This is called arco. You want to place the bow somewhere between the fingerboard and the bridge. Probably halfway is a nice place to start. As we pull the string with our bow, you want to make sure that you're keeping your bow straight so it needs to be parallel to the bridge and the fingerboard at all times. It's really helpful if you can do this in a mirror because it actually feels a little different than what you might think to bow straight. So this is a down bow when you start from the frog and go to the tip. Down bow. Down bow. Now if I want to go the opposite direction, it's called an up bow. And that's going from the tip back to the frog. So let's try playing a simple example here. We're going to go ta, rest, ta, rest. And we're going to go from the C string all the way up to the A string. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's try it a little bit faster. Now we're going to go ta, 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 ta. We're going to start from the A string going down to the C string now. One, two, three, four. So you notice that each time we started a different string, I always started on a down bow. We're going to do one more example. This time we're going to put in eighth notes. And eighth notes are a little faster, twice as fast actually, than the quarter notes. And you might want to just think about the fact that you don't want to use as much bow on the eighth notes as you do on the quarter notes. So let's start this one from the A string. We're going to go T, 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 ta, ta. Ready? One, two, three, four. Good job.